he spent a day with a guy, but he can't stop talking about his girlfriend. <laughs> yep, we've got a, I've got a post office box as well. Yep. And they delivered there the other day, or yep. it said it had been delivered. I went and checked the tracking, and they put it in a parcel collection point at one that was at the shopping center, which is about four kilometers from there. <laughs> and so I complained about that as well. And I'm like, it's like, look, I'm trying to understand. I pay for a post office box, yet you've now put it to another place. And now I have to go to another location to pick up that one. And then I have to come to my PO box to pick up my other one. Yep. Right. And they said, oh yeah, this shouldn't have happened. You know, we'll, we'll pass on the feedback. And I said, well, you know, who's compensating me? Right. Because it's my time. It's my fuel. La -da -da -da. And I'm like, you know, I don't really care about that. But like, if they're going to start doing that, it, it, it needs, it's, it's just not on. I'm sorry. Like, why would I pay for a PO box? <laughs> like, it doesn't make sense. Yes. Um, you know, or just deliver it to my house. That's fine. Like, you know, I'm not asking for much, really. I think what we're gathering here is that Chris, sorry, Chris has a propensity to complain, and <laughs> and he will use every every option of complaining in his power to, uh, esta to yeah. establish justice. This happened in the last week, so <laughs> yeah, I'm a bit heated with it. We've also established. I think we've also established how much Chris needs Carla because yeah. when Carla's around, Chris yeah. is a much different person. She'll calm me down. Um, and and that's a good thing, Carla. Come back, it's like, come back, come back, Carla. <laughs> we all need you to come back <laughs> and never leave. Um, feel free to interrupt the frame because you are you are bringing you are bringing something nice. You're adding beauty to what is a uh, very boring shot to you guys. Thank you. That's that's why I, I I like to think I'm a personable person. I was hoping we'd stare at each other for a little bit when you when you said that. Macbang, Macbang, Macbang. You're ruining the moment. I want to eat without you staring at me like you want to eat me. What if I do want to eat you? <laughs> it's, it's not what I signed up for. <laughs> so what were we saying? Breaking up, breaking up, what do you do? No, but what was the last thing you were talking about? Oh, you wouldn't look at me? <laughs> Before that, I can't even remember. Oh, well, why, why, why people like me in the up shops? Mm -hmm. Good stuff. Oh, you like it? Yeah, it's just not heavy. Like, I love burgers that they feel big, but, you know, you don't feel like you've made a mistake. That's what she said. We're gonna cut up. We're gonna, we're gonna cut up that scene. No, that's fine. Yeah, they're full, as if you're gonna prepare to eat your burger. Then we use it for the burger instead. <laughs> <laughs> uh, <laughs> and we find him because they'll be like, "Wait, there was no burger when you did that, but now there's a burger on the spot." We're best off at 99, and then they paid shipping. Boom. So again, like, you didn't. You, you now know that knowledge. You now know that knowledge. Again, you're not going to necessarily go find that every time you go thrifty. And here's the thing, right? Because I don't, because I don't sell in those categories. I know that knowledge. I'm not actually going to use it. Mm. Not because I, not because it's bad knowledge. You're going to think sweet, and it's going to go straight in and out. Because I guarantee you, you're going to go into the thrift shop and like, oh, what was those books that Chris was talking about? No, what no, were they again? I, I can, I will remember that, and I will know it's valuable. I still won't be bothered looking for it because I have to spend time looking for it. It's also something that I already know how to look for. I did this the other day. Um, matchbox cars, because I'm. You know, We've had conversations about Matchbox cars, and you've got more information than I do. And I send him some pictures. Like, are these are these worth it? And you're like, ah, nah, hey, the boy's got a wee. The boy's got a wee. You made me yeah. wait 25 minutes before I could wee before because you were too busy sleeping. I'm so sorry. Because I, I was at Mac's doing the drop off, no. and I'm like, ah, I just got Johns. Because no. <laughs> you know you were like five minutes around the road. Because I was just at Furniture Gally, uh, Mac's. Oh my gosh. I'm gonna, I'm gonna milk this forever, man. Yeah, you can milk it. Yeah, you can milk it. <laughs> poor form, poor form on my part. I have an idea for the channel. <clears throat> I've heard you say this idea a few times. Um, not that idea, different idea. No, another one. Um, yeah, okay. Well, yeah. It feels, because I feel like I've been forcing it. Like at the start of the channel, you force a lot of the stuff. You try to like, make lists of things to yeah. talk about and dot points and everything. And but you're doing exactly what I told you to do. Just do it. Just like like surrender. Just surrender to the process and kind of see what happens. Like yesterday, just drawing on the camera, I was like, oh, yeah, this actually makes sense. And then like this. Sorry to cut you off. This, yes. this is this is what frustrates me with. You know, it comes back to my whole further your lifestyle thing. Is like 
you know, to help people pursue their passions and, and you know, get out of the nine to five or whatever. But there is so much opportunity to do so much. We're too stuck in our heads or too worried about what other people will think or who's going to show up. No one knew you literally in October. Like, you know, maybe three or four people, mm. right? In terms of YouTube and community, broader community of reselling. No one. Mm. Like, I didn't even know you until you come up and said, hey, mm. and Jason is reducing the advantages, as I said, where you live and where I live, we're going to find different stuff. Mm. Up in Queensland, people tend to find shoes left, right, and center. I've never found any of those kind of shoes mm. in, except for the night, I mean, the Adidas ones that I found the other week. But that's in two and a Which half years. Which were unfortunately not my size, but I was like, ah! Yeah. But, you know, the chances of that, I'm never going to find that again anytime soon. I found one Nintendo 64, and that was in Port Melbourne. Like, I found a, I found a blue pair of the same one, like, the, the completely blue oh, one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, it ended up, it was size 40, it ended up selling to the UK. What but size are you? I'm a size 12. You also think it's like an 11 or a 10, remember? Yeah, I think it was a 10. Yeah. You were the guy that messaged me saying I would buy this if it was my size. <laughs> An alter ego. That was me. No, 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 like on... That was me. Are you serious? I messaged you on... I thought you knew what my store accounts were. No. It was me. I was saying that it was, I would totally buy it if it was my size. That was, I messaged you on... And you didn't reply and I just thought maybe he's too busy to reply me or whatever. No, but, but I thought the person that did that was from another country. No, that was me. It's not another country, it's me. No, I didn't know it was you. That was me. And I literally just said, "I'll be funny if it was you." This is this is the life of celebrity, people. It's it's. But what what I don't know your stores. I think I think I think I probably know. You share accommodation with a guy for four days, and you know nothing about him. That's not my fault that I didn't know. That's all I knew. Man. You assume that I knew, because I get random questions, things like that all the time. It's like I would so buy this if it was my size. And we're like, cool. That doesn't help me. Isn't it so typical of a celebrity to just say more celebrity like things? How am I supposed to know people want my attention all the time? People ask for signatures all no, the no, time. No, no. How am I supposed to know it was you? I'm no, talking no. about any random person on eBay, not another per like I know, <laughs> right? Because usually you, you've assumed that I know that it's you. Dear viewer, if you have messaged Chris on eBay and he has not replied you, he would like to use this as an opportunity to say he's sorry because it happens way too often. <laughs> Uh, all right, let's, let's, uh, no, I, I genuinely did not know what you did. I had no idea. Why would I know? Huh? I, I have no reason of why I should know. <laughs> stuck in this I'm, loop. I'm stuck in the loop. Hot take. I reckon if you're going to go to op shops to source for things, the only way that you can be successful running an eBay business with the op shop model is if you amplify the op shop by eBay. You have to be a better general store than the sellers. Great photos, making things pop, mm -hmm. you know, like um, great customer service, all that, all that stuff, right? Not just, I'm just gonna take photos of it like an op shop because I bought it from an op shop. How do I make, how do I make this Sea Folly bikini look actually <laughs> sexy to sell as opposed to just don't, this don't one? put it on. <laughs> yeah, yeah or, or, or Jason, you shouldn't put it on. If it sells instantly, it either was perfect price or you've under, under, like, you know, you've undervalued it, or you didn't know enough about it, and yep. you could have got more. And that's why it's so rare that that's why it sells so quickly every time. If it's a good item, it will sell regardless. You don't have to oversell it. Yep. What's the mix of op shop versus not op shop inventory life been like now. since you started compared to, compared to now? Well, uh, I guess when I started, it was purely op shopping, right? That's, that's what I, I spoke about. But now it's probably 80% coming to me op shops are abundant generally speaking in some categories yeah. and they are very limited in other categories i don't do op shops because toy wise it's a lot easier to just get it from someone's house there you go um i don't do but you will find those same toys in op shops yeah in very small quantities exactly um in much poorer condition <laughs> i get in a roll and you kill me bro no, 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 no. <laughs> because because what we're gonna do is we're gonna go to we're gonna go all right, where are we going now? That's it, that's on. That's the video. We have recorded, by the way, for almost three hours. An op shop, an op shop isn't just a lazy starting starting place. There's a place for it. It can fit just like any other supply mm. source in any business model that you want. You can do anything with it. And I think that if you follow the rabbit hole of op shop conversation in social media, you find yourself in a particular corner. And uh, that corner oftentimes isn't the most helpful corner. No. And so, 
there are there are and there are many people who win doing op shops and we've talked about that as well in this video and we've talked about many different examples of people who actually have the right eye they pick they pick great items and they they can sustain a business around that you can't come expecting everyone else to tell you how to do it when they're not doing the same thing exactly like you right i mean if we were operating in exactly the same town you know starting from scratch you know that would actually be a pretty cool thing to challenge because we would probably both do things differently yeah we might go to the same op shops but we're not looking for the same stuff mm. we're going to be looking for different stuff and even in some of my thrifting videos that i've done with other people like the one i did with diary of a flipper like i think it was a year and a half ago we went to the same op shop together he walked out with different stuff that i walked out with we both made money right and that's the beauty of it so you got to do what works for you and own it, like own it with confidence. Um, cool. Yeah. Yeah. Thanks for watching. Sit there with your legs crossed. Just sit there. Is this safe? It is, it is, it is. Okay. I have done it before, so just like sit here with your legs crossed. I just want this on record that, you know, I, I, I didn't know this was happening. Like, <laughs> I'm sorry, Carla, I'm sorry. <laughs> Make me stretch in ways that the body shouldn't stretch. Are we talking like this? Yes. Oh, really? Yes. For how long? A very short time. Okay, because uh, I feel like a man isn't meant to have his legs this crossed this long. Trust me, it's going to be fun. I feel like a Teletubby. <laughs>